Is there any sense of a, let's see, I don't know how to put this, upon awakening of a, of a sense of, of behavior towards others that has changed? If, if one has been deluded and, you know, acting, you know, in, shall we say, unkind ways, would that uh, naturally disappear, the, the sort of defilements or bad behavior or... Does that? <laughs> I'd, I'd like to say yes, but <laughs> 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 we have to really look into what is the product, what is the behavior the product of, mm. what what fuels behavior, and it's a behavior is, is a complex result. Mm. It's a result of a complex of uh, inputs. Mm. Any behavior, any action in a given moment is linked to an incredible array of quote causes of influences from your basic DNA, your genetics, to your conditioning, your upbringing, the influences. And the if there is this understanding, which is the, the in my definition, the death of this false sense of independence, if, if that happens, then the influence of this false sense of independence isn't there, of course. But all the other influences are. So, and they will continue to play out. How they, in what ways they play out, we don't know. So, the, one of the classic examples of this is my guru's guru, uh, who is a man named Nisargadatta Maharaj. And he was a very volatile personality. His nature was very volatile. And he would yell at people in his satsangs. I mean, he would get angry. Red face, vein popping out on his forehead, angry. And he and he'd yell at people. And he would kick people out of his satsang. So you ask me a stupid question like that? You've been coming here for six months, and what the hell's the matter with you? Get out of here. Leave my satsang. <laughs> you haven't been listening. Go. Now, some people would say, this is hurtful behavior. You hurt this person's feelings. He's going to feel terrible. He's going to feel awful. You're supposed to be kind. <laughs> You're a sage. You know, you're supposed to be a nice person. And you're acting like a, a, a monster, a, a maniac. What the hell is going on? Skillful <laughs> maniacs of some kind? No, well, yeah, you can tell all kinds of stories about it. I mean, it, it's uh, crazy wisdom. It's uh, yeah. uh, 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 And anything to bring back intentionality, anything to bring back the authorship. Well, he's really authoring you know, this guy's better good through uh, this means, this, this skillful application of cruelty is you know, you know, designed to precisely, you know, free him from the bounds of his blah, blah. You know, I mean, you can tell all, and people do, in order to maintain the story line that, you know, that the, the say, that, that the, Sage is a saint. <laughs> and you know the difference between a sage and a saint. In my language, a saint is someone whose behavior matches the highest standards of the group. Uh, okay, this is a saint. Uh, so a saint is kind and loving and generous and non-reactive and, you know, open and whatever the list is for this group of what are the the best qualities mm. 
and they're usually the list quite long. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Lord and you know, they, and in, you, you know, then get into you know sexual behavior and uh, you know relation to earthly goods and all this other stuff. All of which is a long list of what the appropriate uh, highest standard is, and so someone who whose behavior matches that is the same. Now, saints suffer. You read the writings of saints. There's lots of, you know, writings of saints, and you can read them, and, and they're suffering. Mm -hmm. Even though the, everybody goes, you're, you know, you're, you're a saint. They go, yeah, but in the you know in the darkness of my cell, I'm thinking <laughs> about this, you know, and, you know, and I and I and I shouldn't be thinking about this. I should, even though the actions are absolutely perfect, I shouldn't be as I am. That's when you boil it down. That's that's the suffering. That's the agony of the same. That I still have some sin that I shouldn't have. The sage, the sage has nothing whatsoever to do with the behavior. For the sage is the organism the, for whom this false sense of independence is gone. The sense that I'm the author, I'm responsible. The, I, I make this happen. It's a recognition of one's expansive unity with, with everything. What I am is an expression of the universe with, with my, you know, qualities that the society likes and with, with the quality that the society doesn't like. This is, this is what I am. So in that acceptance, you're still the 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 rewards or the punishment from society for for the behavior, but there's no sense I shouldn't be this way. There's no suffering, pleasure and pain, yes. But there's no suffering, so the sage doesn't suffer. But can the sage cause suffering by by not? The sage can cause pain. The same uh, suffering is a result of involvement by the sense of authorship. That's suffering, you know, our definition of suffering. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the example of Nisargadatta Mara, his kicking people, he's yelling at somebody, causes them pain. They feel bad. He's causing them pain. He, that behavior caused the behavior, caused, quote, caused that pain. Yeah. So, so in a sense, the, the consciousness with a capital C is value value free. Can you say something like that? I I would be very comfortable if you said that. Yes, I wouldn't necessarily say that because I wouldn't personify consciousness oh, huh. in that in any way. And say, hmm. but because. The pointer of this teaching is that consciousness is everything. It's not a, a thing mm. with properties. <laughs> okay. All properties uh, and values are a property. Exist within humans. You have values. Mm. So it isn't that that's false. It is part of this expression of consciousness as you and we, in this formula values exist what does not exist is any agreement amongst people on the values that's another matter but everybody has them But I'm particularly thinking of how I relate to my daughter to be a to be a, a better father, you know. 
if I... We would all like to be perfect parents. <laughs> Who would not want to be a perfect person? Not only to our, to our children, but to all that we love, and then as we get more spiritually enlightened, to all the world. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be <laughs> that? If for no other reason, when you are, the benefits flow in. <laughs> it's a transaction. <laughs> well, it, it, the, the nicer, more, more generous, more kind, more loving you are, the more gener generosity, kindness, and love you get. It's a formula. You can watch it. The principle is, I mean, it's like clockwork. And I yeah. remember a long time ago I asked something and you what you said to me was the universe is not human hearted. That was a quote from Ramesh. He said that when very early on. And it very struck me very powerfully when he said the universe is not human. 